if you are just joining in i'm just setting everything up hello if you are joining say hello say um let me know if you can see me if you can hear me if everything is working fine just gonna try and get it on my computer so that I can see what is going on okay I can see that some people are joining hello so if you can see me if you can hear me let me know that you can see me and you can hear me and everything is working out fine um yeah so I'm excited for tonight's live stream. I was in the mood to create something tonight. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. So I thought, well, um, I may as well go live and um, show the process. I don't know if we'll be able to create the whole thing tonight or if we're gonna just create a part of it, but um, I'm excited to have you guys kind of here with me. Hi Bridget, hi Snizhana, hi Patricia, hi Alexandra, hi, good to see you all, thank you so much for joining. So while everybody is uh, joining, so I'm just going to kind of tell you um, what we're going to create tonight. So I have um, a plastic bowl, so this is one of those clear plastic um, fillable baubles that come in like two parts that you can take apart right and you can put stuff inside of it so this is 10 centimeters in diameter um i glued it together with super glue glued both of the halves together and i primed it with some um, clear gesso from finnabar so i degreased it with a uh, with methylated spirit and i applied two coats of this clear gesso over the top of it as you can see um like it appears quite like white um, on camera. It is um, clear gesso dries transparent, but because obviously we're decorating a clear plastic thing, it kind of it makes it look um, opaque. So that's what we've got going on here. Hi, Eileen. Hi, how are you? So I used um, this one, any gesso um, or acrylic paint or um chalk paint is going to be fine for this so it doesn't have to be this particular product that i'm using so um with this bauble i don't know i want to create another hanging decoration not necessarily a christmas bauble but we're going to play around with it i um took out some um gears some of these things and some um flowers and then I also took this thing out, picked this thing out, because I want to, what I want to do is I want to have it dangling down kind of from um, from the bottom of my ball. So we're going to create something. I don't know yet uh, <laughs> where exactly this is going to take us. But before we get started, I just wanted to um, quick little shameless self-promo. So on Monday, um, I'm starting a... Um, workshop number 14 so this is going to be an online decoupage workshop where we're going to create a box um so a shabby chic um box so this is the one that i made um here it is on the inside um from all sides so this is going to be the workshop um that we're gonna start next week there's a lot of different techniques that we're going to be learning um, in this workshop. So we're going to be playing around with molds. We're going to play around with um, laser printed images. Um, we're going to use um, two step crackle, as you can see there on the inside. We have um, a fine line two step crackle on the inside. We're going to have some raised stencils. Um, we're also going to play around with one step crackle so we have some beautiful cracks on the surface as well um we're going to do like a soft colorful blend so if you notice we have a little bit of pink and we have a little bit of 
um, green and blue here over the grey. It's very, very subtle, so it's not as noticeable. Um, there's also some waxes on top of it. We're going to create the bow all ourselves and so it's going to be a very fun, interesting workshop. It's going to last three days or three evenings rather. So all of my workshops I usually do, um, I, um, I create a group in, um, on Facebook, a private group that you get access to once you've signed up to the workshop. Um, then you, uh, when you're in there, I will go live in that group um, three evenings and over the three evenings I'm going to show how to create this thing all kind of in real time and all of that. Um, so any questions, anything like that is always welcome. We're going to... Um, so um, the all of the recordings of the workshop of the live streams are available for you to watch um, whenever you're ready, kind of if you can't be present during the live streams that I'm doing um, or if you need to re-watch them, stuff like that. So they're going to be available for you whenever and yeah, if you want to find out more and sign up then uh, check out the link that I left in the description under this video, under this live stream. And kind of with that being out of the way, I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to tilt you guys over and we'll get started. So I'm going to have to oh, um, unplug my phone quickly. So hopefully I'm going to have enough battery in it to last for tonight. So I don't know if we'll be able to do the whole thing tonight or if we're just going to do a part of it and then carry on another day. We'll see. And while I have you guys here, before we get started, um, quick reminder, if you're able to, um, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out um, with the YouTube algorithm. So if you can give this video a thumbs up and share it on Facebook or Instagram or wherever with your friends, then that would be um, very wonderful. Mm. Yeah, Eileen, me too. Thank you, Patricia and Bridget. Hi, Daniela. How are you? Okay. So, I've got my bauble here. The first thing that I need to do is um, I want to do some stripes on it. I'm not sure what colour though. I th I'm thinking uh, maybe like a brown and a beige and a brown so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do in fact instead of drawing out the lines to make it easier for myself um, later on I'm gonna paint this in the base color so um, like a beige color uh, or maybe not a beige I don't know hang on one second I'm gonna find some paint so I think this is going to be the color that I'm going to use for um, like the darker stripes and maybe instead of beige we'll just stick to Charlotte Grey because I do really really like this color. So these are um, acrylic paints that I usually use for painting furniture but um, I also <laughs> I'm also starting to use them a lot in my kind of uh, mixed media and decoupage works. I'm going to try and bring you guys down a little bit because, um, well, they come in like big volumes, so I know that it's gonna last me a while. And also, um, they're nice colors and they come in like these little um, pots, so I can just unscrew it and dip my brush directly into the paint. I don't need to like take it out into, onto a palette or anything like that, which is um, very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and take a brush. This one is a little bit damp so I'll take a cloth and just get some of this excess water off of it. I just washed it. Hi Karishma, how are you? How are you? So I'm going to just apply a coat of this great paint and we'll see how 
how it goes. We'll see if that's going to be enough, um, enough coverage. If not, then we'll have to go over it um, one more time. I'm not really worried about it, you know, being the brush strokes being all over the place, because I'm not trying to um, get like a perfectly elegant look here. We're gonna go for a more of a vintage steampunk look. So um, brush strokes in all directions are welcome. You're good, excited to be here. I hope you're doing well too. Thank you. Yes, I'm okay too. I'm doing okay. I'm just um, painting. <laughs> it's always nice to um, have a little bit of, you know, crafty time after a long day. So we'll apply a coat of this and then we'll see if we need anything else on it. So now I'm going to hang this up because I'm struggling to hold it without dipping my fingers into paint. At this point. And then. I'll go like that. So I I hope that you're all having a really good Saturday, wherever you are, depending on where you are in the world. I hope that you've either had a good Saturday or you're currently having a good Saturday. So, I've applied a coat of paint and I'm going to get my heat gun and um, dry it super duper quickly. Hi, Derry, here from Chile. So if I look at you, very happy to see you. I'm so happy that you're here. Hi to Chile. How are you over there? What time is it for you? And what is the weather like for you right now? How hot is it? How cold is it? Um, tell me about where you are. I'd love to know. <laughs> a very lazy day today, Eileen. It's nice to have lazy days sometimes though. Not all days need to be, um, you know, all go, 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 do stuff, do stuff. It's good to have relaxed days sometimes too. I'm just trying to get this paint dry. We'll need another coat of this um, base color. This is like a warm gray. Charlotte gray is a nice warm gray tone. So everybody that's watching, let me know where you're watching from and what time it is for you and what the weather is like and how your day has been. My day was very weird. I feel like, well, Eileen, I, I, I feel you. Like we, we've had a pretty lazy day ourselves too over here, I must admit. It's not been a very productive day here. That being said, I did hang up a lot of my um, things that I've been planning to kind of hang um, around my desk and on my little display wall behind me. I'm starting to sort that out as well. Bridget from Tennessee and it's hot. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, it must be really hot for you. I was over here complaining about our British weather and British heat and you're over there in Tennessee sweating. <laughs> okay, I 
going to add another coat. I'm going to dry this now. They all look lovely. This place is really coming together. It is. It's finally starting to kind of come around. Um, I've always wanted to have stuff hanging above my desk. Um, ever since I've start, I started, like, you know, making stuff, I always wanted to create one of those, um, I don't know, like, I, I want my workspace to not only be functional, but also, like, represent the little fairy tale that I'm trying to create with my creations. I want to live it as well, not just create it. <laughs> um, so, like, one of those things is that hot air balloon from the hot air balloon workshop. And ever since I, I decided that I wanted to create a hot air balloon, that was a, always its final destination, was to hang above my desk. And I'm looking at it right now, and it's just... Ah! <laughs> my vision has finally come together. It's complete! It's re reached its destination. Ah! Okay, I caught my... Um, heat go <laughs> Tried to fall, but I caught it. Yay, go me. Okay. So I applied another coat. I'm going to... Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to get a, um, get a jar of water for my brushes. So I'll be right back. Just one moment, you guys. about it as well before I started streaming I thought I have to get a glass of water for my brushes and then that was about it <laughs> that was that was um, where it ended okay now I need a pencil so I have a pencil here and now I'm going to try and create um, some stripes on my pencil. So first I'm going to follow the natural line that we already have here um, on the seam where the two um, halves of the bobble come together. So I'm just kind of lightly going over it with my pencil to show it off. And then I'm going to create a line directly in between those two. And kind of cut the bauble in half, like so. Watching from India, Bangalore, and it's 1.17 a.m. here. Weather is pleasant here, and we are currently under lockdown, so just chilling at home. Made one deck push box today, so feeling wonderful. Yeah, it is so late for you. <laughs> I'm always very impressed whenever um, any of my Indian friends um, happen to catch me live because it is so late for you guys. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if I'd be up for staying up or being up, but that time of the night and watching somebody else create okay so I've gone down and as you can see my two lines don't really meet so I'm just gonna go over and connect them together so this is where my hand clearly um, went off the rails a little bit so I'm gonna go over it again just like that okay and then we're going to slice each of these in the middle as well just like that so my lines are going to be very much far from perfect or even or you know really completely um symmetrical but um, I don't like symmetrical I like balanced so 
as long as it's balanced I don't care um, Vampy, hi from Mexico. Hello. Very, I'm in the afternoon, 4 p.m. at the capital of Chile, Santiago. Uh, Living the last weeks of autumn fall, but the weather is very pleasant. Seems like spring. Yeah, I always <laughs> forget that. That's, you know, um, that um, our seasons are completely, uh, completely kind of um, on the opposite ends when we live in different hemispheres. It's something that I don't usually think about, so it's always it always catches me off guard a little bit. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> there's people that live a completely different life. So it's it's good to, um, to have people from all over the world because then it keeps you in check a little bit, you know? It reminds you that um, not everybody lives in the same kind of, in the same circumstances as you. And that just, um, you know, that goes for weather as well and seasons and everything. Um, hi, Noel from South Africa. Hello, how are you? Hi, Marisol, how are you? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> the world is small. Right, okay, so next I need to, so I've, I know where my kind of center point is gonna be now. So um, here, this is going to be my center point. This is going to be a, a scary bit that we're gonna to have to do. So I've got my candle here and where did I put my little um, twisty bit? Now I've lost it, I took it out and now I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. Where's my little twisty bit? I have one of these. It's okay, I'll get another one. So I have one of these little um, hooks with a screw in it. And we're going to heat it up on the candle and then we're going to push it through the plastic so that we can then stick this in and then we can hang stuff off of it, right? So that is the plan, so that then we can hang this thing off of it and it can dangle down. So I've got my candle, um, I'm using pliers to hold it. And then this is going to be the scary part because I'm going to, um, push this through um, right on the seam, so in the middle here on the seam, and I've not done that before. So I really hope that the whole thing is not going to split completely. Um, so I'll fr cross your fingers and your toes for me, please, because I don't know if this is going to work or not. Hi Irma, how are you? Crafters worldwide <laughs> enjoying events. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you guys are all enjoying what we're doing here tonight. Okay, so I've heated it up a little bit. Is it gonna go through? Not yet, not hot enough yet. I need to heat it up a bit more. Hi May, South Dakota, USA, hello. Oh, I'm glad you're good. So again, you guys, if you can um, give this video a thumbs up, if you're able to, that really helps out the algorithm because then the algorithm um, recommends the video, the live stream to more people and then more people get to, you know, join us and all of that. So let's try and push this in a bit more. Still no. I should have got a nail out. But I thought, and I should, this should be all right. This will work. But I should have really got a nail out, shouldn't I? The hardest part about this is that um, my hands are shaking a little bit. So, like, and I, so I have to make sure that I'm looking at the thing so that it stays in the flames. Um, otherwise, my hand just kind of, you know 
moves away um, and then it's not in the flame and then but when I'm looking at it I'm, I'm looking at the flame and it's like it's not good for the eyes <laughs> my eyes are not liking it 32 people watching oh wow that is all oh, 34 hello everyone little late now that's okay Homecrafts, hello, hi. How is everybody doing? So we're doing a little bit of a quiz over here. Those are just joining. I want you to let me know where you're watching from, what time it is and what the weather is like. Because um, I want to know more about you guys. More about the people that are watching me right now. Because I'm nosy too. We think you're nosy watching other people, but I'm nosy too. Oh, okay. I think, ah, oh no, I dropped it. Careful, careful. My, my, my other hand is trying to take it, but I can't let it. Um, I need my other pliers so that I can readjust without trying to pick up a hot ass nail with my fingers because that won't end very well will it okay so pick this up with these pick this one up with the other ones okay we're back in business Marty yay catch you live from South Africa Cape Town hi South Africa Cape Town 9 50 p.m. here mate Two resin 3D rocking horses today with a chocolate mold. Wow, that sounds awesome. That sounds amazing. Anything to do with like rocking horses, anything that's so vintage, it's ah amazing. Inspired by your MDF rocking horses. Oh, amazing. Yeah, um, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy that... Um, that's what inspired you to make yours. Okay. Trying to push it through. Why is it so heavy, hard to do? Is it because it is the seam <laughs> and it's a little bit thicker? But Jesus Christ. I really should have got a nail out for this because I think a nail probably would have done a better job to make sure I don't push it too hard because I don't want to um don't want to break my bauble hi i'm nell hello hi eileen from ireland cloudy today and it is 9 p.m iran oh wow it is midnight for you it's so hot. I can imagine. Jesus Christ. Yes, Iran. That's like you're right in the in the heat. In the in the hottest zone. Here in Andorra, spring sunny day. Now it's ten p.m. cloudy. I'm from Ukraine. I love handicrafts very much. So look to your stream. Oh, I'm glad that you're here and hello, Ukraine. Whereabouts in Ukraine? E. Seventy-five degrees and a little cloudy with a breeze. Nice. 75 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Oh, that's not too bad. I think 75 is like a, is like a good temperature, isn't it? It's like when it's not, it's not cold, but it's not too hot either. Okay, I think I'm getting there with it. Yeah, I think it's because, because I'm going through the seam rather than, you know, just going in the middle. Ah, oh, well, painting this was a pointless, um, pointless exercise because now it's all covered in the, in the suds from the, <laughs> from the, 
from the candle. Sorry, 2 p.m. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's for Edinburgh, it is 10 o'clock, the Netherlands, and it's um, not so, not so warm. Before, okay. <laughs> Before, I was going to say, I'm not sure if I know that word. Michigan, USA, taking a break from gardening. It's hot here, 4 p.m. Nice, gardening is always good. Gardening is nice. Ah, oh, I keep dropping it. You guys, I should have brought a nail. Why did I not bring a nail? And the thing is that I don't even know where I put the nails now to just be able to go out and, you know, run out and get one so that I can speed this process up because I have no idea where I put them. So like, it's not like I'd, I'd be able to just run out for a second and get one out because it'll probably take me like half an hour to find them now. Oh. Hi, Park. Hello. We'll get there. We'll get there, you guys. I promise. There we go. It is in. It went through. I didn't even re notice it go through. Okay, we're in. So I'm gonna just, yep. Yeah. Okay, it goes in and out. Perfect. Yay, we made it. Woohoo. Thanks for sticking around <laughs> for this. Okay, now we can blow this out. And set the pliers to the side as well. And we can we can leave this alone for the time being um so we're gonna move on to painting now we're gonna we made the hole we got through the dirty part we'll have to paint over that well that was like i said pretty much pointless uh but oh well so let's start painting so i'm gonna just do um one stripe brown and one stripe like a like the gray color so I've got an angled brush and I'm using the angled brush to help me get kind of more or less even stripage going over here so like so I'm using the angle of the brush It's a good job I decided to do um, big sections because <laughs> the smaller the stripes obviously the longer it's gonna take and the, um, the more attention you have to pay to them the bigger the sections the easier it is and the quicker of course it is so I'll do this quickly. Ooh, so anyways, I just want to make some more dangly decorations to hang above my desk now. So hanging up that um, hot air balloon now that I can see it, now that it's hanging above my desk where I always imagined it. It looks so good that I need to hang like 50 more things above my desk now because um, that just hanging it up there gave me such a hit of dopamine that like I need to I need to repeat it now um, until I get bored of it <laughs> Michelle Dallas Texas 3 p.m. and is disgustingly hot here temperature 90 plus degrees okay so I don't exactly know um, Fahrenheit um, that well because I've always worked in Celsius but I know enough to know that 90 plus it is definitely disgustingly hot so I 
um, I feel for you and I'm sending you um, a lot of love but no hugs because you probably don't want them in that heat <laughs> and I hope that it's gonna cool down knowing that the summer has only just begun I can't even imagine um, like seriously I can't even imagine um, summer in Texas and how you guys survive like I really I don't even blame you guys for um, you know having aircon everywhere all the time because I don't know if I would be able to survive in in your heat Hmm. Your follower from Instagram, um, very, very creations, but right here I appear with my old name from ancient times. Oh, right. Okay. When I used to sweet, sweet dreams, but now I just paint. Wait, I feel like that is, that is a problem because like, um, whenever I talk to people on, um, you know, Facebook or Instagram, if their name, um, and like the profile picture is different on other social medias, I don't always, um, recognize until like, you know, um, people then message me and say, oh, that was me or whatever. And then, and then I can put the two and two together. I feel like I know um like like i'm i'm pretty sure that i know who you are and we've been talking uh, we've talked before right um on instagram but like i can't i can't, I can't trust my memory all that well <laughs> well um i'm gonna watch it tomorrow nighty night irma Thanks for popping over and saying hello. Okay. So we'll need another coat of brown as well over the top of it. In general, you pretty much always need to do two coats with most paints. So that's no surprise there. But I must say, I do really, really, really like paint couture paints. They are very nice to work with. They kind of, they, they glide across the surface because they are like acrylic paints, but also they have such a, um, such a good coverage to them compared to a lot of other acrylic paints like craft acrylic paints that you can buy um, in shops this one is definitely uh, much more superior to them and of course you know they come in bigger tubs perfect for um, furniture painting okay So I've gone over these once. I'm going to again quickly dry them with my heat gun. As you can see, I always keep spinning uh, my bubble around while I'm drying it because um, since it is a plastic bubble and the heat gun gets really really extremely hot if you just heat up once the same spot all the time it's going to um, warp your plastic it's not good for plastic so I keep spinning it around so that way I'm not always heating up the same um, the same spot and it dries pretty quickly to be fair there we go that's dry now 
They never allowed me to change my name. I did all the steps, but it was impossible. They have their strict rules. Oh no. That must be so annoying. But like, I, I know the struggle. I have the same problem with my email, uh, my email account. I have several accounts connected to my email and for some reason Google has picked one of the names that I use, one of the nicknames that I use for one of my accounts um, to appear on my email and so whenever I email somebody um, most of the time I appear as Jazz Funk and there is literally nothing that I can do about it I've taken, like, just like you, I took all of the steps to try and change it. I changed it in every possible place where I can possibly change it, including, like, my phone settings, my computer settings, thinking that maybe that's where it's coming from. Um, and it's, like, it's not doing it. I can't get it off. And I haven't used that other account under that name in years and now i'm like well what the only option that i have is to create a completely brand new email account but i have so many um contacts connected to this particular email address <laughs> i'm like you know that's the email address that i always give out that i would need to change it over it would take me so long to change it over that I th well, i've kind of given up So I, believe me, I know the struggle. It is really daft that um, they can be so not helpful with these kind of things. Like really, you think that somebody creates an account and then for the rest of their life, they're not gonna change their circumstances, they're not gonna change, they're not gonna um, decide that they want to change their name it is really ridiculous. Is it a hairdryer or a craft heat gun? This is a craft heat gun. That's why it's so quiet. Because it's that super quiet heat gun from Ranger. Okay, so I've gone over it one more time. Now I'm going to go back to my Charlotte Grey, but before I start painting it, I'm going to quickly give my brush a mini wash in my water and then I can carry on using it, hopefully. Uh, I know, I couldn't even capitalize my last name. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, that is that is so annoying. They really need to sort their system out um, with names and stuff. And if you think about it, how often people, um, especially nowadays, it's very, very common that people need to change um, their name for whatever reason. Um, you know, circumstances change, people get divorced, people change genders, people, um, you know, there's all sorts of different circumstances. Like I said, people change circumstances where they, you, they do different things and change their occupation and stuff like that. So there's so many different reasons why somebody would want to change the way that their name appears on their um, either social media accounts or their emails and so on and just not having a good system in place for it is really 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 annoying so it's um yeah i really wish that they would do something about it but um I, and I've, I've i've gone on several like you know forums and stuff like that to try and figure out if there's a way around it if there's anything that we can do about it um, and there's a lot of people, um, you know, having the same issue or similar issues. And 
they're just not doing anything about it. Even like on specifically on Google um, forums, on Google help forums. And it's just so annoying that they're just so not helpful about these kind of things. So now I'm going to go over our Charlotte Grey one more time, clean up the edges a little bit and also just kind of cover up some, some of those sods that I kind of spread all over the place. And then, and then, and then, and then, we're going to move on to the super fun part where we're going to actually decorate it all and add some mechanicals and some some of our favourite mixed media elements, uh, which I'm very excited about. Um, I can already see micro beads here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Maybe a little bit of glitter, um, definitely some metallic waxes, maybe even some rust effect paste. Who knows? The possibilities are endless of what we can do with this and where we can take this, really. So I'll be looking for all of your input soon so get your little phalanges ready to type away and let me know uh <laughs> what we should do and in which direction we should go because i'm gonna need your help i'm gonna need all of the advice i want it to be a a creation that we kind of make together a group project, if I dare to call it that, although um, school group projects give me um, nightmares, or used to give me nightmares, just thinking about it, but never a good idea. Okay, here we go. Right, so. Our bauble is all painted. Oh, Jesus, just hit it. Uh, Claire says hi, she's going to watch on replay. Oh, okay, tell her I say hi too. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Great is beautiful. I need to buy um, the big tin, like I have a uh, Madagascar mocha. Um, I need Charlotte Grey in the same size now. Okay, so. While we leave this to the side. What did I pick out? So I thought I have mechanicals here. These are, I don't know. These are called just like, I don't know. Some, um, I think some um, lines are from Finaba Mechanicals. Not all of them have um, names on them like this one oh no some of them have oh no wait this one has on the back mechanical flowers but i know for a fact that i have some that don't have um names on them so anyways but this is what they look like uh these are metal embellishments again um i'm using finnebar because well as you know i'm on finnebar's design team so i get this stuff sent to me, so, you know, obviously I've got to use it. <laughs> may as well, I have it here, so I may as well use it. But um, you can get these kind of metal embellishments from other brands and not necessarily brands either. You can just take apart an old um, necklace or something like that that has some kind of um, flowers on it and use that instead. And so what I thought is that I want to attach two of these on kind of either side, like so. Um, and then maybe something different on the other um, edges. We'll see. Let's let's start with 
with one side and then we'll see where we go from it. Um, whenever I create these kind of mixed media projects, um, they usually kind of come together step by step. I'll add one part, then like I think about what to do next and then I add it on and then, you know, so it's a bit of a process. I think I'm going to stick to just super glue um, in this case. Ideally, um, what do you call it? Ideally, um, I would like to use a heavy body gel because that stuff holds on for dear life. Uh, once it's dry, it like it does not budge. I need to poke this through because it's a bit stuck. Where's my needle? I had a needle here earlier and I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's there. Okay, I've got it. Um, yeah, so I'd use heavy body gel, but the problem is that heavy body gel takes a very long time to actually set and dry. So once it's dry, it's not going to go anywhere. But until it's dry, you kind of have to just leave it alone and let it sit. And that's just not something that I can do during the live stream. Um, now let's try this needle if it's gonna poke through or if it's a bit covered in super glue. So I might need to get a new one, a pin rather, not a needle. No. Two window, get a clean one. Really need to get some new super glue as well because mine is all mine is ready to retire. Right, okay. So where am I gonna put it? I think I'm gonna put them on the seams. Like in the middle of the seams. So I'm gonna pop some Super glue and then pop this in the middle. Stick it down and hold it down. Hope that you can still see me. Can you still see me? My phone has just told me that I have low battery. So once I have, once this is attached, I need to. Um, Once this is attached, I need to get the um, wire. I need to pull out my charger. Okay, this is stuck, now I can leave this. So I'm just gonna pull my charger out a little bit. So I can hopefully plug my phone in. So that I don't lose you guys. There we go. We're in. Alright, so this flower is on. I'm gonna Ah no, see this attached. I'm I I'm never patient enough. I don't have patience, see, like I can't even do it with super glue. Um I'm even worse with heavy body gel. So while I'm while I'm holding it down, I'm also pressing down these petals a little bit so that it kind of doesn't stick out so much. I'm just opening it up. Really, I should have done it before I stuck it down. But as you guys know, whenever I do things live <laughs> or I record the full process step you know, um, each step or whatever. We kind of learn as we go. You get to see all of, all of my mishaps. No editing. There we go. I opened it up a little bit more because then, otherwise I think it just kind of, you know, stands out a little bit too much. Um, hi, Parry. Seeing you and hearing you loud and clear. Okay, that's good. 
So I opened it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to add another one on the other side. I hope that this is the middle. I think it is. Looks around about, around about there, around. It's about right. Okay. Can you and hearing you loud and clear? Looks a bit like ears, doesn't it? <laughs> you could put like little eyes here and a mouth, and those could be flower ears for all we know. Okay, so what should I put in the middle here? in between. I could put more flowers here. I have some other flowers as well that I could maybe make use out of. Uh, I can use my can to hold the wire in place. I have these ones as well, but they are a bit too shiny, I think. They're, they're more like um, brushed, brushed iron color. I'm just going to get some more, um, flowers out. So we can see what other stuff we can add. I also have thinking exactly that steampunk face, <laughs> right? Okay, so I have these metal blooms that I could use, and I also have these, and these are see, that's what I'm talking about. These ones don't have an actual name on them, doesn't say anything on here. Um. I'm just a little bit worried that these may be, that these are nice, but I wonder if they're going to be a bit too heavy because they are quite like, let me open these up and I'll show you because these are a bit on like the bigger, thicker side. Like this is a proper, like, like a, you know, iron cast. <laughs> Thing. So I think it might be a bit too heavy, but what about these? Hmm? On either side like that. We could add them like that in the middle. I think that might look good. What do you think? We also add these in the middle. Or the newer ones. Some of the or the smaller ones. I don't know what to do. All all of these are different colors, so I'll have to go for I don't know these two. They'll look a bit closer together, I think. Ah, whatever. I'm going with that. Let's go for it. Right again some super glue and then I'm gonna put this on in the middle in between each of the other ones I'm starting to utilize my uh, Christmas baubles as you ladies can see um, especially those of you that were in that particular workshop where um, we were all influenced by one certain individual <laughs> who was in the workshop and she told us that apparently Amazon was having a sale on these kind of plastic clear baubles of like 20 baubles for five pound. So I spent 10 pound and now I'm a proud owner of um, 40 
uh, clear plastic baubles, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, bauble arts and crafts in the foreseeable future. And I've been, well, I, we've had them for what, like two months now, I think, since we bought them. <laughs> so I'm starting to utilize them now because first of all, it's never too early to start getting them, getting ready for Christmas. But also I'm tired of waiting to use them. I've been looking at them for a very um, long time, waiting to use them and it is time okay so this is what we're looking at at the moment we have some flowers here um what should we do next that is the question i don't know what to do next maybe 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 we could do some Let me think, let me think, let me think. Maybe some modeling paste and art stones. Some mini art stones and modeling paste on like each one of these strands to add a little bit of texture and then maybe we can after when when it's all dry we can go over it with some liquid acrylic um hmm? what are we thinking um and then we need to we'll have to go over these with some gesso as well um i think yes let's go for modeling paste We're not modeling paste um, 3D gloss gel and then we'll add some art stones into it. I don't think we'll be able to finish it all tonight so we'll probably do another live stream maybe maybe Monday morning because Monday night we have um, I have we have the workshop our shabby chic workshop starts Monday evening so maybe Monday morning i'll see or if not then closer to the next weekend so maybe like next saturday we can carry on and get it all finished um we'll see but so i'm going to take some of this modeling paste and i'm applying it In like a thin line over the line where the two colors meet like so yes gears um, um i'm gonna be adding some gears into like the little pocket watch thing as well so we can definitely add some gears to this maybe kind of here and there in places that's a good idea yeah and then if we go over this with liquid acrylics um once it's all dry we can add some extra color to it it's gonna look good when we're all done with it. So I'm just kind of plopping the modeling paste on. Mod I keep calling it modeling paste. It's not modeling paste. It's um, 3D gloss gel. I don't know what it is with me. Why am I saying it like that? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. My brain works in mysterious ways. Oh, in fact, you know what? We're not just gonna add the gloss gel, um, 3D gel to the lines like this, but we're also gonna go in underneath the flowers and a little bit heavier. So add more of 
a raised texture underneath so that then we can add some um, so that they don't stick out so much right and even like add a little bit to the back of the flowers because otherwise these flowers are just looking a little bit you know like they're they look a bit too like just stuck on so we're gonna add a little bit of texture to the back of them but yeah like 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 i said <laughs> um whenever i do these kind of mixed media projects it's very much um it, it's all very much influenced right there and then at the moment the idea comes and i do it i don't really plan it all out ahead of time but to be fair I do the same with my decoupage works as well it's all very much um, going backwards and forwards which is why a lot of the times in my pre-recorded videos you may be able to you may be questioning why am I doing this now instead of doing something um, you know I could have done this earlier and then you would have saved yourself um, some time and then you wouldn't have had to go back and do that again or whatever you know and it's because I don't necessarily always think things through and a lot of the times ideas come after the fact so it's you know it's a process I have to make some Halloween baubles. Oh my God, Eileen, that is genius. Yes. We will do some Halloween baubles. I love that. Oh, you can make little cute little round pumpkins out of these. Oh my God. Eileen, yes. Yes, I'm here for it. I'm with you. We will do that. We will definitely do that. Halloween pumpkins, yes. I can't remember if I said hello to Deborah. My memory today is, um, has vacated the premises. <laughs> but hi, Deborah. If I did not say hello to you already, I'm sorry. Um, and if I have said hello already and I'm repeating myself right now, I do also apologize because, like I said, my memory has vacated the building today. It's um, it's gone home for the weekend. <laughs> my, my attention span is a little bit bleh, all over the place, but I feel like creating tonight, so that's what we're doing here. Right, so I'm just applying the modeling paste. Jeez, this has taken a while, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not even that busy over here. I'm just kind of... I think it's more that... It's just getting a bit... Later here now. And so my brain is trying to... Say, what are you doing? It's getting late. Time to chill. But then I'm chilling, so... I don't know. I'm just chatting crap at this point, so don't, um, don't worry. If you have to put me on mute so you can watch something else, then that's fine. I won't um, be offended or blame you. Not one little bit. I just stumbled on your live and thought I would see what you do. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for stopping by. I hope that um, you'll enjoy the live. <laughs> hope that you'll enjoy watching what we're doing here. Okay. So, once I've just going to um, finish up this half here like 
so just gonna dab in it on and I'm gonna start applying the uh, art stones because it is now starting to kind of dry up a little bit in places the modeling paste is trying to starting to turn a bit clear in here and there so I want to make sure I don't miss the point where it where it's still sticky so these are super super tiny I don't know what these are made out of this is not a comfy way to get them out um, I don't know what these are made out of but they are like super tiny um, rocks <laughs> They're very, very light. And they are very round. And they are super cool for adding like extra texture to your projects. Um, they remind me of um, semolina. They're these tiny ones. good thing is that they are really really tiny so and very light just putting them all over the place love mixed media and steampunk oh good that is good then hopefully um, you like the finished project here that I make. I don't know if we'll get to finish it tonight though because there's a few more things that I want to do. I don't know if we'll have the time for it before it gets a bit too late in the day. But we'll see. Okay. So I'm just kind of throwing them over the art stones, over the art stones, over the modeling paste. And then wherever they stick, they stick. And wherever they don't stick, well, you know, they don't stick. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should really be utilizing this holder. <laughs> Why am I not doing this? I don't know. Don't ask me that question. There isn't always logic or reason behind everything that I do. So, just saying. Okay, there we go. So, I can close this for now. Looks like a hot mess right now. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you trying to say? So I can't wait to see what you do with this project, no worries, I will find it later finished because I'm very interested in how this will turn out. Well, I hope that it will turn out all right. Um, the idea that I have in my head, the vision that I have in my head looks really nice. Whether or not um, I'll be able to bring it to life and make it look like it does in my head, I don't know. But we shall see but no this is that stage the ugly stage of the process um i think most projects have that stage don't they where you look at it and then you think oh my god what is going on can i can i come out of this will i ever recover from this <laughs> but then usually you do and most projects um go through that kind of stage. The ugly, hot mess. Oh my God, why did I do this? Stage. Tap, tap, tap. So 
So I'm just going to apply more of this modeling paste under this flower. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, cross your fingers that we can steer out of this stage. trying to kind of hold this without also dipping my fingers into wet modeling paste is a bit of a challenge because currently there's quite a lot of wet modeling paste all over the, the place so it's a bit of a danger zone <laughs> like a minefield a minefield minefield that's what i'm trying to say Again, language center has checked out and vacated the premises. Okay, let's add some more art stones. I'll collect these. Um, oh no, better not, there's like hairs in it and stuff. And no doubt you will bring it to life. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, because trust me, not every project that I start and do gets to see the light of the day, it gets to the um, photo taken and uh, posting stage. So let's hope that this time this one will be will be a the one that gets to have its five minutes of fame. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and gently turn this. Hi, Teresa, how are you? You came. You came to say hello. Right, okay, so I applied the art stones, I applied the modeling paste. Now I am going to close this before I spill it out. And I am going to pop this brush in water, close this, and we're going to do a little bit of work on, while this is drying. Mm. Okay. Welcome well, from your nap. Oh my God. How was your nap? Enjoying Saturday naps? We're going to start working on this thing. So this is called a um, vintage trinket, but I think it looks like a bit like a pocket watch without the watch part. Looks like a, to me, it looks like a case for a pocket watch. Does it not? Um, and I'm pretty sure you can. Can you take this apart? I think this bit can get it out yes it pops out like that so if you wanted to um, you know work on it separately um, you could just take this out and then uh, paint it or do whatever so the idea is that I want this to then hang um, so once we've we're done with the with the bauble I'm gonna kind of hang this on a chain um, off of the bottom of the bauble and I want like there to be like some gears and stuff on the inside. Um, right. So first thing that I need to do is I need to gesso this. And I'm going to use um, black gesso. 
because um, I then want to use waxes to like color um, everything on the inside and waxes usually look best on a dark surface so they, the colors show up the best on a dark surface at least in my personal opinion they still look good on light surfaces and they have their own um, a right to exist but I personally prefer waxes on darker surfaces so I'm gonna go over the edges and everything and I'm just applying black gesso all over this thing um, ideally I really should have um, cleaned this and degreased it with a mineral spirit but um, I can't be bothered right now <laughs> so ideally you want to do that That was amazing too, a few of them, but lots of crafting to do, so wakey wakey time. Yeah, I agree. Every now and then, it's nice to take a nap, but also, you don't want to miss out on your fun crafting time. Okay, so I've applied some gesso onto this. Now I'm going to pop this on the table and get this dry. So I don't want to hold this because it's made out of metal and metal heats up real, real quick. Hi Leanne, how are you? I should have notified you girls. Paula, hola from Portugal, hi, hola. <laughs> is getting there. I'm gonna, uh, move this to the side. It is really, really hot. So, what are we thinking? We should add some gears to um, to our bauble, right? So, I have some some of these. They're called rustic knobs. Not exactly gears, but I also want to add a few elements from here into the into the mix getting into these is a bit of a challenge oh no notification oh no well you know what youtube is like okay let's get into this I really like these. These are super cute. So I'm thinking... I'll just take a few out. I'll get a mix of things going here. I have like these kind of smaller gears and knobs and stuff. I also found this earlier today. I don't know where it came from. But I thought I, I better save it. And then I also have some of these. These are grungy gears. These are from Finnabar's latest release. What does the blue wrench thing mean? Yes, that means that Leanne has the moderator status and she can um, kick people out if they don't behave properly or delete comments and stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of picking out some. These are called machine parts. I know. <laughs> you want to be a moderator too? Because <laughs> uh, it's good to have a few of them. I don't know. There's not. I haven't really noticed any um, any people misbehaving these past few live streams. I don't know if I don't attract these kind of people anymore. I don't know whether I should be offended by that or just happy. <laughs> okay, so let's pick out a few, right? I'll do. Can't use too many because then I'll have nothing left. Wow. 
before I get started with that, I'll just give this another coat of gesso on the inside like that. Well, on the front bits, rather. Okay, and then, you know what, I think I'm just going to go um, a little bit crazy and just start applying these um, wherever I feel like it, and then we can, you know, um, do whatever we want with this. Can you see what I'm doing? Am I out of frame? I think I might be out of frame a little bit. Did I apply super glue on the wrong bit? I would, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, you better, Teresa. Or Leanne will kick you out. <laughs> you get the boot. I need more super glue. And where did I try and put it on? Here. I'm trying to put it on here. So I'll just go a bit crazy and start applying gears wherever I feel like it. I don't know what it does, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can handle that much responsibility, Teresa. I don't know if you can handle, um, you know, behaving yourself. Oh my God. Put people on timeout, yeah. <laughs> on the naughty step. <laughs> Hi Karen, how are you? How are you? So I'm just trying to stick these in. Wherever I feel like they fit. I'll add one of these pretties here. On the underside. Hi, Moika. Hello, how are you? The Saturday live stream gang is here. So, if if you don't know a lot of um, so um, Leanne um, and um, a lot of other um, people. I do uh, live streams every Saturday, like a uh, like a hop where they go live one after e um, after the other, and it's a lot of fun always. But not tonight. I don't know. You're not doing a hop tonight, are you? Or haven't done? You haven't done one for a, for a little while now, have you? I, and I need to do one as well with you, ladies sometime we'll have to organize it yes definitely hi penny how are you I'm trying to stick these down obviously a lot of them also are overlapping um the 3d gel so like once the 3d gel sets um they're gonna be stuck even more on there Add this. Where should I add this? I think here on the top. Hi, Sam. How are you? Now I think people are more out and about now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. We're not all locked away anymore as much. We're peachy, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's glue these down. Sorry, this is a long and boring process, but it has to be done. 
play and we're on Zoom. Oh, Nama says hi and she's off to bed. Oh, well, tell her I say hi too. I hope she has sweet dreams. Right. I'm going to add a couple more. And I think we'll leave it at that. And then we'll play around with the inside of the little, what you call it, thingy here. So I'm gonna apply this one last one to the to the bottom somewhere or to the underside of the bauble on this side maybe. This one hasn't really had anything on it yet. Um, it is midnight, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. She needs to she needs to move here. Then at least she'll be on the same time zone as us. Okay, so we've got some gears on there. I don't know, I might play around with it um, in between tonight's stream and whenever we do our next one. I should also apply some um, gesso on the back side as well. Completely forgot about that. Because this is way too shiny and if it's going to be hanging down, um, it's probably going to be turning in each air and every direction. So it's going to be, you know, I want to make sure that it's the same color from all sides so that then when I hang it up, it's not embarrassing. <laughs> I've done the front and I've not done the back at all. All right, I'll put this down. I know, it's <laughs> different time zones, isn't it? We had um, Indian friends here and for them it's like, um, it's gonna be like gone to 2 a.m. for them. So it's, um, it's a bit crazy how it's such a random time for all of us right now. Yeah, 10 p.m. here. Which is one of the reasons why my language center is kind of starting to say goodbye now. <laughs> Catherine, hello! How are you, my lovely? I hope that your day was good. I hope that you're having a good evening, good well, good night really, because it is, Sweden is two hours ahead of us, isn't it? It's like midnight for you now, isn't it? Okay, so another coat of gesso on, get it dry. Yeah, it's 2.30 in India, that is crazy, isn't it? My gosh, and they popped in to see you. I know, right? Whenever um, anybody from India uh, makes the effort to be present at any of my live streams or workshops or anything like that, I have so much respect um, for them because um, I don't know if I would have the, um, the willpower to still be up. So, um, I don't know, at that point it's, it's early. <laughs> when we're talking about 2.30 a.m. Mm. Right, so, this is all dry, albeit a bit, a bit hot. Now, I want to add some, you guessed it, more gears inside. So, we're gonna add I really quite like the idea of just adding this big thing like that. So we'll add something on the bottom underneath it. 
we'll also like maybe we'll build a little bit of a um a thing here let me just get some stuff out i could use molds for this as well but honestly i don't really feel like using molds because they need they definitely need more attention when you paint them so i kind of feel like I'm, I, I can't be bothered with that <laughs> today Maybe a heart? Can we add a heart? No, heart is going to be a bit too near. A different story. Just a little mechanicals. Yeah, like maybe one of these. Oh, hi Jessica, how are you? Oh my god, it's been ages since I've spoken to you. How are you doing? So, maybe this. This is a pretty one. And we could pop it like to the side like that. And then, um, and then what? And then what? I don't know. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I don't. I'm just putting things together that I think look look good together, so. I'm just improvising. And then a numeral. Maybe. Yeah, on the inside like that. So this is going to go over the top and then what? Anybody know what we should, what else we could add? Um, what else, what else? No, I think that this needs something on the inside. Let's see, I just got an idea. What if we took one of these smaller dragonflies and then we sat the dragonfly over the top like that? What do we think? And then we'll do it like a slightly different color so that it stands out a little bit more. I like this idea. That's what we're gonna go for. Yes, thumbs up would be great. <laughs> Got my brain. This was the live I wanted to catch, and I'm free from job. You know how it is. I know. I know how it is. So don't worry about it. You can always rewatch the. Um, and we're not going to finish this project um, tonight anyways, because um, there's like way more stuff that needs to be done. So don't worry. Um, uh, you'll catch, you know, you can catch the other half of it. Doing wonderfully. That's good. I haven't seen you in too long. I know it's been way too long. Again, stupid time zones. Always messing everything up. So I'm just doing a little bit of um, a droplet of super glue and then it sticks in. That will do. So they're not going in the exact same places where I placed them originally which is fine. The main reason is that I don't want to super glue my fingers together. So it's a bit more of a, well, wherever it lands, it sits. Okay. So now we'll wait for this to dry and we'll apply a coat of gesso over the top because once I've applied this on the inside, 
um, I'll struggle to get the other bits with gesso. Um, I think something like a tattered flower in the center, maybe. No, no, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Now I'm feeling the dragonfly. Just need to wait for this to dry. So this is the the bauble itself. That's what we're working with at the moment. So I've added some, as you can see, we've added some gears, some flowers, some modeling. Um, modern. I keep saying modeling face. It's not modeling face. It's three D gloss gel, three D gloss gel, and some um, art stones over the top of it. And then. Um, in between this live stream and whenever we do part two, I'm going to um, probably go over these with clear gesso so that then we can still see the original color peek through. Um, but then when we go over the whole thing with liquid acrylics, um, the liquid acrylics are going to um, stick into into like the crevices and into all of these little bits a little bit better because um, um, clear gesso gives it a little bit more grit, gives the colors, you know, something to stick to. So, but you know, I would even happily carry on, you know, crafting into the night with this tonight, but um, 3D gloss gel takes forever to dry. <laughs> even with the, um, even with the heat gun, like I, I kind of just want to, uh, you know, it's going to take forever to, dry <laughs> so i'll just let it do its thing until we can come back to it so okay is this dry i don't know if, it, if i can can i trust it i don't know if i can i don't know if i can i feel like it still looks a little bit glossy in places there so i don't know if i want to stick my brush into that <laughs> yet Oh gosh, we've been streaming for an hour and 40 now. That's a long time already. Anyways, right, so we'll do, we'll do this last little bit and then we'll kind of end for tonight. Let's apply some more gesso over these. And yeah, I think we'll just say we'll do part two next Saturday. That's what we're gonna go for. Because then next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're gonna do the workshop. And then Thursday, Friday, I'll probably just take a little bit of a break um, from streaming. And then on Saturday, we'll carry on with this. Okay, so now we can stick this on the inside. So I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna apply some super glue on the edges here. Because it's gonna touch the edges and I'm also gonna put some super glue on here. And then try not to glue my fingers together. Just like that. Waiting is the hardest part. Exactly. It really is. <laughs> and I'm really bad for it. I used to be much better with it until I really started getting into like mixed media more. Because decoupage in general tends to be, you know, a lot of waiting. So, um, you know, I was, I, I used to be much better with it <laughs> than I am nowadays. Okay, so next we need to wait for the super glue to dry on this. This thing is getting a bit heavy. A lot of metal on it. I probably should have gone for a few mold. Oh, in fact, let me see. I like the dragonfly, but let me see if I have any molds that I could use instead. Mm -mm -mm. Any like resin casts. 
I could use instead. A moon always is a good option. Maybe a smaller one. Not in this particular size. Um, oh, this is one of the Lady Vagabond mold castings. And that would also be a good option, but it's going to cover up a bit too much of the stuff on the inside there. You won't be able to see it. Mm. Star could be a good option. Moonface could be a good option. There's a lot of different... Um, places you could take this, even, you know, a little one of these. A little bird's call could be a good option. Um, do I have anything, anything else? A face? Oh, I do like that. A face could look pretty good in there. Set that to the side, we'll think about it. I have too many castings, I need to use that. Oh, I'm struggling to see what's on the inside. A school is also a good option. Digging through the goodie box, yes. <laughs> Very much so. It is um, hard work, but it's satisfying. I have this skull. This is um, clay, so it's a little bit deformed. <laughs> Poor thing. Um, I even have a tiny little casting of this. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I do like this. I do like this a lot, but no. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, I, I, I think my two favorite options are the dragonfly and... Is this Annabelle? I think this is called Annabelle. I think this is the Annabelle mold. No, too big. What are we thinking? Dragonfly? The face? The skull? Or something else? If you have a suggestion for another option, let me know. I'll think about it. I'll consider it. So I think this is dry. So again, I'll go over this with gesso. Make it all completely black so that then we can make it whatever color we want which um is probably likely going to be like a um bronze age wax from finnabar which has been my favorite for quite a few months now i can't get enough of that color i can't get enough of that wax i'm really enjoying it so it's a it's a highly um likely possibility. Skull and the dragonfly. Oh, we could do the skull on the back. Or like the dragonfly on the back. We could do two, one on the front, one on the back. That's a good idea. Or the face, skull and dragonfly. I like the face, I think. Dragonfly, okay. Mixed um, mixed poll. We have mixed results. So you guys, you need to um, 
sort yourself. <laughs> Why are you giving me mixed results? I need clear answers. So before you write your answer, make sure you poll each other and then give me a uni unison answer. I'm only joking, by the way. Just in case of there's any people that are uh, not so familiar with me, uh, don't take anything that I say seriously. Right, this is on. All right, I am thinking I really like the face, and then maybe we could apply the butter, uh, the dragonfly on the back like so. I actually really, really, really like this idea of the dragonfly on the back and the face in the front. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna paint the back of the face just because when I stick it down. I'm a little bit afraid that you may be able to see some bits of like the back because this is like, you know, getting a little bit higher up now. So I'm going to paint the back and I'm going to paint the dragonfly as well while we're at it. Like the back of the dragonfly because the wings are going to be overhanging a little bit. So I may as well paint them. I'm new to the channel. What is it that you are making? Lita's Crafty Creations. Hello, welcome. I am creating a um, mixed media um, bauble decoration, <laughs> steampunk style. So don't judge it just yet because um, we are at the ugly stage at the moment, you know, where every project goes through the stage where you're like, hmm, I just have to trust the process and hope that this is going to turn out okay. So this is the bauble that we're creating. It's not going to be like a Christmas bauble. It's going to be more like a, just a uh, hanging decoration. Um, this is the stage that we're at at the moment. Um, I've applied some stuff onto it and I'm waiting for it to dry. And then in the next live stream, we're going to you know, paint it more and all of that. And then this is going to be hanging off of the bauble, kind of. So I, I made a hole in the bottom of the bauble earlier in the stream. And um, when it's all painted, we're going to connect this bit with the bauble and it's going to kind of dangle down and hang. And hopefully, fingers crossed, look pretty. <laughs> So I hope that it will all come together in the end. So let me quickly dry this. Um, yeah. So we're going to put this together and then we're going to carry on a next time. Because then we're going to do the um, liquid acrylics, the waxes, and then connect it all together as well. Attach the face to the middle. Just need to make sure that I'm actually applying it centered to the thing, um, to the hanging bit, instead of trying to center it to the round. Excited to see the finished project. <laughs> Good night. Nighty nighty, Bridget. Sounds like a great idea. Looking forward to seeing the finished project. Thank you. Yes, me too. I'm looking forward to, <laughs> to the finished project. I don't like, well, we've already talked about it, but I don't like waiting um, to finish things. I like to get them all done in one go nowadays <laughs> my patience is 
not on its best behavior nowadays so I'm excited to see it finished too oh she's sliding around a little bit so I'll leave it for now I'll just paint the dragonfly Paint the dragonfly. Get the heat. Oh, dropping stuff. Oh no. But that is a normal part of my life. I'm always dropping stuff. I get this dry. and then pin it down from the other side. And then we need to, well, we need to dry this again and then we can turn it over and um, and attach the dragonfly. Just subscribe to your YouTube. I want to see the finished. Uh, well, we're glad I saw you ladies. You're a doll. See you soon. <laughs> Good day, y'all. Oh, thank you very much for popping over. And I hope to see you in the next live stream. Dragonfly with the bird color. Mmm. Ah, ah, so hot. So hot. Okay, now actually, let's wait a second because I don't want to burn my fingers. And then we can attach the dragonfly and be done for the night. So I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight, enjoyed the live stream. And like I said at the beginning, my Shabby Chic Box Workshop starts on Monday. If you wish to take part, you can still sign up. And if you um, can't sign up right now, but you still would like to um, learn how to make a, a box like I showed, um, you can sign up at a later date and watch... Um, all of my workshops in replay so if there's any of the workshops that I've done previously that you may want to um, look through or take part in um, they can all be purchased um, kind of in replay and accessed anytime you know the color I can't spell in a bird color I don't know what what color you mean <laughs> But Bordeaux, do you mean like a purpley color? Mm. Thank you, Leslie. Hope to catch you again next weekend. Hopefully, yes. I'd love to see you here. Okay, so I shall attach the dragonfly now. This is going to be the bit that glues my fingers together because this dragonfly has holes in it. So, aha, I'm going to outsmart it and probably still stick my fingers to it. Ah, not yet. Now you can stick down. There we go. There we go. Let's place it down. Oh, peacock. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to spell the... Spe write the name of the color. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, I'm with you now. You're not the only one whose brain has decided to check out tonight. So, um, yes, I'm with you now. The peacock. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> 
Okay, let's close this up and I'm going to turn the camera around for a sec. So we can say our goodbyes. Hello. Um, alrighty then. So, thank you so much for joining me. Let me show you the bauble, kind of not from the, um, not from a bird's eye view. Um, so this is what we're looking at at the moment. This is what it looks like. Um, obviously, like I said, once the mod um, 3D gloss gel is dry, I'm gonna um, gesso everything, um, all of the metal embellishments and everything so that we can color them we'll use liquid acrylics next time and this is our little pocket watch that we created so there's a lot of stuff that you can't really see yet because it's all matte and black um so it's gonna show up way more once um we use like the waxes and stuff to um to finish it off and that's the back of it i love the dragonfly on the back um Yes, Moika, <laughs> you're a star. Yes, thumbs up before we go, because it really helps out. Margaret, thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Looking forward to the next week and the final result. Thank you for popping over, Margaret, and thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much all for joining me tonight for this project, and I will see you probably the same time next Saturday. See you guys soon. Bye. Ah, how do I exit?